Hi, it's Werner from Koitek with part two of the current measurements on the PSOC 6 BLE Pioneer board. Last time we had some real problems actually measuring the true current consumption of the e-ink display because of excessive power consumption elsewhere on the board. This turns out to be due to a faulty firmware in the USB-C controller we still haven't been able to get an update to that, but we have an alternate way of making sure that we only measure the e-ink display uh, in this update. We need to set up the um, ADC channel to um, measure the um, expansion port voltage and current, and we use the main channel to power the MCU only, uh, which means that if we restart here and we perform a display update when it has finished booting there we go there we have a few complete display updates we freeze this and we zoom in to one of these recordings we will see that the total there we go we have now reached a peak of 16.9 uh, milliamps uh, which is actually less than uh, the specified value of the uh, display. Uh, this is a process that uh, is actually running for 724 milliseconds. Uh, the ADC current here will show the current consumption of the expansion connector. Uh, the main current will show the CPU uh, core power consumption only. Uh, in the schematics we can see that I have actually broken out the 3.3 volt uh, connection up to the expansion port, connected the ADC shunt there. Uh, we have also opened the current uh, sensing shunt going into the CPU and input our main output uh, of 3.3 volts there. The main problem with the um, uh, development board was the fact that when we were powering it off the um, battery connector, uh, the battery charger was delivering 5 volts to the board. Uh, it was then the USB-C controller going in, monitoring that we actually have 5 volts present, trying to charge the board back and actually enabling the BQ chip from TI to enable charging, therefore losing the 5 volts uh, that was actually generated by the BQ chip itself. And this was repeated over and over, leading to these very odd power consumption spikes that we saw. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, for more discussion on energy optimization, visit our forum at koitech.com.